Hey, welcome back to Die Cash Cars. So today, guys, we got the invitation to the Indy Hot Wheels Club. We got to their monthly meet. We're gonna check it out, see what we got here, see if we can make some deals and some trades, and honestly, just meet some good people. So first table in, guys, and I am a fish in water when I get to these meets because it's nothing but Hot Wheels, diecast cars, a room full of avid collectors. And on top of that, we're talking money, right? When we're talking money, we're talking die cash cars, guys. I love it. I mean, all you can feel and hear is deals being made, bargains being talked about, price tags on everything. So it, it's basically what I do, but in real life, it's just an awesome feeling, guys. I mean, this first table, no exception, nothing but sought after pieces, everything from JDM, collector sets, full premiums. I mean, I think there was a reason this guy and his family was basically the first table you saw when you walked right in the door. Overall, fair prices, everything comparable to eBay and the secondary market. I mean, nothing but car cultures, boulevards. I mean, you got that old school 50th anniversary Barbie Corvette. Next table over, I mean, nothing. But treasure hunts and Zamax, I mean, it makes you think, oh, that's where all the Zamax and treasure hunts went, right? But nothing but mad respect for the seller. I mean, they put in the grind. They were able to pick up all these pieces one way or another. And here they are at the show getting the fruits of their labor. You know, hopefully this guy had some luck that day, got some of this stuff sold to recoup some of that value to hopefully add back into his collection. I'm sure... His collection itself is probably massive just based on the cars that he's selling. I mean, this was something that I was definitely eyeing here. Ferraris, I mean, again, all fairly priced for the market given that they no longer sell these. But man, just too rich for my blood today. But what I was looking for was deals and you can't beat two for one like this table here all older Hot Wheels from the 90s, early 2000s, but I love that era. That's essentially my golden age for Hot Wheels. And I could not ignore these Pikes Peak Celica's first editions. These are the Rod Millen inspired liveries and I had to pick up two for a dollar. Another mainline table here, all $2 a piece. Nothing that I needed personally for my collection, but a lot of pieces to fill in the blanks and I've mentioned it before, but these Hot Wheels meets are definitely good places to get all those gap cars that you just missed on the pegs. These cars right here, definitely not a dollar. You can see all the price tags on them and I was just checking market price in real time what the pink R34 is selling for and it's listed for a hundred, which is about comparable to the secondary market right now. Even got loose cars here at the show. I see a 300 ZX right there. A bunch of other pretty neat cars, but again, nothing I needed for my collection. This table here specialized in Matchbox and just a bunch of classic MBX cars that, you know, I can almost recall having some of these or seeing them on the pegs as a kid, kind of like that Mitsubishi Spider right there, 3000 GT. But man, it's just cool. It's almost like a museum at the show to see some of these pieces just lined up on the tables for you to go back and just have that nostalgic moment. Then you got some tables that it's just a mix and match of anything and everything. This here, old school two packs to 90s, early 2000 releases. You even got the latest Barbie four pack exclusive selling for $50 already on the secondary market. Next up on the table, you got some old school treasure hunts with the green card and I was eyeing these pieces hard, especially this Ferrari F430 in the red. For 10 bucks, that would have been a steal. I'm kicking myself for not picking it up. A continuation of the table, more treasure hunts. This time, some of the super treasure hunts with the real riders. You even got that Nike exclusive circuit track for 40 bucks. I think it's still available on the RLC Mattel Creations website for essentially $40. So very fairly priced there. Again, more treasure hunts. I mean, pretty fairly priced too. Five to ten dollars. Some going to that 15, 
$12 price point, but again, very fairly priced across the board. And then there's this table, not a really big table, but the Fox Bodies caught my attention right off the bat. A lot of 124 scales, a couple of mainline Hot Wheels, and then there was nothing but dots and 510s. Everything from the M2s, you got some Mystos like this BRE, which I thought was really interesting. Never seen that one before. Very fairly priced to basically retail across the board. And as I continue to look at this gentleman's table, I saw some customs. And I saw this one with a little bit of writing on the acrylic. And that's gotta be Chris Walker's autograph. A Chris Walker Dotson 510 wagon custom by Night Stalker himself, guys. I had to pick that thing up. And then there was this table that was particularly interesting, really caught my eye. All brand new 2023 LK's main lines and quite a few duplicates of all of the very sought after cast out of that case. Like this Toyota Supra tune version from Fast and the Furious. Definitely on my want list right now, selling for five to eight dollars. This gentleman had him selling for $3 a piece. The next table over, I was trying to pick up these Neon Speeder EK9s, even offered to pick up the GTRs as well too for $5 a piece, but the seller was holding firm, which is totally fine. But the rest of this gentleman's table, really nice stuff, a bunch of boulevards, got some ultra red two packs, got that exclusive Barbie Corvette, going into Supers, going into Lamley exclusive cars, and that Lamborghini Aventador Elite Series for 40 bucks. Then we had a High Rollers table, nothing but RLCs as far as the eyes can see. I mean, you got the Corvettes, you got the Chargers, you got the drag buses, gassers, old school muscle cars. I mean, you name it, this gentleman had quite the show going on at his table. It looked like a mini LA convention right here. Finishing it off with some team transports and you got some old school red lines with the patch and pins. This enamel white Camaro has a cool story. Definitely check it out if you don't know. And you never get tired of the Super Treasure Hunt tables. I mean, this gentleman had everything from the Ford GTs, Mustangs, Corvettes. What really caught my eye though was this R32 Super Treasure Hunt right now. Selling for about $75, which I feel like is very fair. Although I felt like a lot of the tables at the show were selling them for 90 plus. And a little price check on the R33 Zamac right now, still sitting in that $20 price point. But yeah, just checking out the rest of this table, some pretty unique stuff. Like I have no idea what these cars even are, but they look cool. Nice display cases and all. Got some ID chases. That 240Z selections car, which I definitely would like to add one back to the collection. See a Datsun 510, some old school retro entertainments. And then finishing off the table with some nice examples of Zamax and also right at the tail end there, some EM1 Honda Civics. <laughs> and a steal of the show, the custom dollar that's selling for $2. But this gentleman was actually pretty cool. I mean, looking at his table here, all of these main lines, regardless of what they were, were just selling for a dollar. I mean, I'm seeing a Ferrari there. The X Racers, you got a Dollar General exclusive Integra, you got an old school Subaru WRX STI, which you guys know I'm all about, a Gasser, a Civic, I mean a lot of nice stuff, and again just for a dollar, so a lot of generous sellers here that were just looking to recoup some of their value, but I ended up making a purchase at this table, I got that Corvette Fatback. The Integra Dollar General exclusive and this Tiburon, which I used to have as a kid, all for a dollar a piece. And then we got another high roller table. I mean, Super Treasure Hunts 510 Wagon Legends Tour car. You got that R32 Super, that one listed for a hundred dollars. You got this Selections 240Z that you guys know I like. I mean, the more I see it, the more tempted I get. You saw that purple Skyline R34 selling for about $200. Got a bunch of white lightnings. I wish I knew more about these, but EK9s, I definitely know that. So I could not take it anymore. I had to pick up one of these Selections 240Zs and this gentleman was willing to play ball. We ended up trading. I gave him a Chrome 2000 GTR RLC 
for the selections. I feel like value wise, they were pretty comparable, both around that 60 to $70 price point. And now I was in all out trade mode. So another gentleman had this ultra red Toyota Supra and I traded him this RLC Camaro in blue that just released a couple of months ago, but happy with the trade cause you guys know how much I like these auto world Supras. But that's a wrap for the meet. Thank you, Indy Hot Wheels Club, for inviting me. It was an awesome turnout. So what an excellent show. I will have to say the best Hot Wheels meet I've been to all year, even better than my local show, which honestly is pretty good in itself as well, too. But everything was highlighted by this gem right here, the Chris Walker Custom night stalker exclusive and you can see the seal of authenticity on the bottom this is number 14 of 20 and it's just so awesome to have a piece made by a legend i mean i actually i've met chris walker a couple of times he would actually come to my local meet he would sell he was a humble guy he would talk to collectors and i totally regret not making more of my relationship with him but this is an awesome consolation prize just to have a piece that was custom made by the man himself it'll definitely go into my cabinet of grail pieces and it'll look really nice next to the kaido house custom made that i have from june Mai. so both of these legends both dots and 510 wagon customs will be sitting in my cabinet forever just super stoked to have these pieces in my collection but that's what i got for you guys today let me know what meets you guys have been to as of late what kind of luck and success you guys have had like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on die cash cars